My name is Brady Ness. I've always wondered about the income tax and I've always been frustrated that uh, uh, 30 percent of whatever I work hard for can be taken from me. I never thought that was right or American. Um, so I really started doing some digging, came across uh, uh, this book last fall, Cracking the Code, The Fascinating Truth About Taxation in America by Peter Hendrickson. The information in that book uh, is worth its weight in gold. Uh, not just money, I'm not just talking about money, but, uh, but freedom. I'm an American, I want to be free. I did all of our taxes this year. This is our first victory uh, from this year. Uh, this is a check from the Department of Treasury. Uh, you see the amount there, $36,000. Uh, was our first victory check, and I'm still waiting on several more to come back uh, this year. And uh, look forward to standing up for the rule of law in the future. Hello, my name is Glenn. I live in a small Georgia town and work for myself as a SAS programmer analyst. In 2008, I learned the truth about the U.S. government's federal income tax by reading Cracking the Code and all of the material at LostHorizons.com. Since January of 2009, I have taken action to amend past filings, submit educated returns, respond to requests to complete forms related to the federal income tax, and to deal with IRS attempts to delay the return of my property. Tens of thousands of dollars have been returned to me, and I choose to no longer engage in activities connected to the exercise of federal privilege. Okay, I'd like to talk to you for a couple of minutes about Cracking the Code and the website LostHorizons.com by Pete Hendrickson. I applied for my 2014 taxes, got them back six weeks after I put in for them. Hi, I'm Barry Sullivan. Reading, reading the, uh, the tax code and the tax laws is uh, incredibly frustrating uh, unless you've been given some guidance beforehand and the only popularly available source of that information uh, is this little book called Cracking the Code by Peter Hendrickson. I can tell you from personal experience that I've uh, for the last several years I've been getting returned to me uh, all my federal withholdings, the including uh, federal income tax, Social Security, and Medicare. Hi, my name is Guy Placencio. In 2013, I read Cracking the Code, and that resulted in me getting all of my federal taxes returned to me, which amounted to $15,400. The government returned not only my income taxes, but also my Social Security and FICA taxes. Hi there, my name is Shondor Bors. I'm from Pittsburgh, New York. And in 2006, I read this book written by Pete Henderson from cover to cover. I had to read it three times to fully understand it. But since that time, I have filed knowledgeably and the state of New York has responded by returning all of my withholdings that I've requested. Unfortunately, the IRS is slow on its feet. But I am patient, because I know, in the end, the rule of law always wins. And this little statement here will have the power and significance that it once had. This is Joe Black, Delivery Tree TV. I'm going to talk about Cracking the Code by Peter Hendrickson. After you read this, you're going to know more than 90% of every agent that works in the IRS. So go to LostHorizons.com, pick up those books, and I swear you will be thanking me. Hi, I'm Matt Zelina. I learned the fascinating truth about the income tax at LostHorizons.com in January 2005. Then I filed a tax return knowledgeably for the first time in my life. 
I haven't got my money back yet, but as soon as that accurate return went in the mail, I got back my dignity as a confident, self-governing, free American. Thanks, Pete. Hi, my name is Brian Harris. I'm a licensed structural engineer here in Alaska with a master's degree from one of the top-ranked engineering schools in the country. By reading this book, I learned a key distinction between private sector earnings and federal income. And for the first time in my life, a couple of years ago, I was able to tell the truth on my tax returns. And this is the refund that the IRS has indicated that I am due. Hi, everybody. My name is Eric Siegelstrom. Back in 2004, my wife and I discovered the fascinating truth about the income tax at LostHorizons.com. Uh, after discovering this new information, we, for the first time in our lives, filed an accurate, knowledgeable return in 2005, and the government's response was a complete refund of everything paid in in quarterly installments, including Social Security tax, self-employment tax, etc. Um, all subsequent years, our money has remained where it belongs, in our possession. Hello, my name is Paul Eberle, and I'd like to talk to you about the income tax. I finally came across this book, Cracking the Code, by Pete Hendrickson. Uh, visited his website for a good year and uh, read a lot of material. Um, I have now filed four years of uh, income tax educated CTC and um, I am happy to report that I had a federal victory for last year's filing. Hello, my name is Rod Schmidt. I learned the fascinating truth about the income tax at LostHorizons.com. Then I filed a tax return knowledgeably for the first time in my life and received all my money back that had been withheld from me, including Social Security taxes. Hi, my name is Val Smithson. After several readings of Pete Hendrickson's amazing book, Cracking the Code, in 2004, I filed a proper refund claim return for the year 2002. For the first time in my life, I lawfully rebutted an erroneous information statement and knowingly attested to the accuracy and truthfulness of my return. Shortly thereafter, I received a complete refund of all the federal withholdings taken from my pay for the year 2002. And for each year since then, each proper CTC-educated return that I have filed has renewed my dignity as an American citizen. Hey guys, uh, my name is Jeremy Lee. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Last year, a friend of mine recommended that I read Pete's book, Cracking the Code. Using the truth I learned about the law, uh, I filed my tax returns correctly for the first time ever in July 2015, and I have already seen the IRS admit that I owe no tax for the past four years also, I have received back two years' worth of full refunds of Georgia state income taxes, <clears throat> and I'm expecting more. This is an amazing book. I read it for the first time in 2011. I was amazed at what I was reading. I reread it probably a couple more times. In the interim, I received um, a notice from IRS indicating that I owed money. Well, I applied the information that I learned in cracking the code, sent in the required documents, and subsequently I uh, received uh, their notice back that there was zero tax due. I'm Forrest Anderson. I read this book, Cracking the Code, The Fascinating Truth About the Income Tax, in January of 2005. I discovered that while many people are lawfully required to pay federal and state income taxes, I was not one of them. My first educated income tax return was filed in April 2005. Seven weeks later, I received this refund check for $4,560. 
Since then, I have received refund checks from the Colorado Department of Revenue for the last three years. This is my 2006 check for $748. This includes $98 in interest for late payment. This is my 2007 check for $677. This includes $27 in interest for late payment. This is my 2008 check for $675. Payment was made promptly, so no interest was included. In March 2009, I received this CP2000 from the IRS in an attempt to extort $8,168 in additional tax, penalties, and interest for my 2007 filing. I replied with a letter and document supporting the entries on my 2007 return. The IRS then sent me this letter, 4314C, informing me of a 60-day timeout while they, they reviewed my documents. The IRS then threw in the towel by sending me this nice, polite closing notice. I came to CTC in 2004 by meeting someone who was already a CTC warrior from another state that I was living in at the time. And I'm very grateful to him for helping me understand and um, turning me on to the book. I'm in my third reading. Um, it has changed my life. I think the main impetus for me was because I have a son. And like a lot of other people who are in CTC, it's one thing for me to deal with a, a system that doesn't work, to put it mildly. It's another to bequeath that to the next generation because we were too lazy or too afraid to stand up for what's right. And I realized that I couldn't bequeath that to my this son. This is a legal path. This is a just path. And this is the path, the only path that we can take if we want to um, re-take ownership again of our country. And that's, that's my goal. Every day I wake to that goal, and every day I go to bed to that goal. On the bulletin board at LostHorizons.com, you can find links to well over 1,000 posted examples of the hundreds of thousands of complete refunds, closing notices, lien and levy releases, and more secured by tens of thousands of readers of Cracking the Code over the years since the book went to print in 2003. Many of these examples of Americans keeping their governments within the strict limits of their lawful authority include the complete package of paperwork which produced the virtuous outcome. These victories, which have been continuously accumulating for well over a decade, involve dozens of state and municipal governments and tax agencies, as well as the United States and the IRS. By the way, the refunds secured by Cracking the Code readers are thoroughly vetted by the issuing agencies. The IRS description of its procedures in this regard will be found toward the end of the bulletin board page. On the Every Which Way But Loose page at Lost Horizons, you can find dozens of episodes of tax agency efforts to balk at educated claims. Huh? Many years ago, a friend of mine told me that the primary function of the federal government is to collect information, disorganize it, and redistribute it. Simply stated, they lie to us, lie to us, lie to us. What I would recommend is basically to read the book. Get a copy of this book. You owe it to yourself. And you're going to want to read and use this. Read it. Now you will not regret picking up a copy of this bad boy right here. Read this book. Read Pete's book. <laughs> read the book. Read the book. I keep all the money that I earn. Read the book.